Hello creators and welcome to uh, what could be the future of video editing. This is Artlist AI Video Generator, a tool designed to take you from a simple idea to a fully edited sound design and color grid video in just a few minutes. Is it really that simple? Let's find out. In this video, we are going to do basically a full tutorial and a practical review. We are going to follow up a real world use case, creating a short professional promo video for a new artisanal coffee brand called Morning Ritual. We'll go from a single text prom to a finished ad and then I'll give you my honest thoughts on who is this for. Let's see what the AI can do. First of all guys, remember that you can just start for free. You're going to be able to download some, you know, uh, stock footage, but it's going to have like a watermark. And if you find yourself using this a lot, you can always subscribe to one of the premium plans. I recommend that you either do uh, the AI suit or the artless mask to have access to the AI features. So this is the main dashboard as you can see, and I'm just going to go to the left panel and I'm going to look for AI image and video. Okay. The interface is incredibly clean and it all starts here in the prompt box. The key to good result is giving the AI enough context. You're not just describing thoughts, you're describing the feeling and purpose of your video. Keep in mind that just in the free plan, you have access to five free images in one video, okay? So just use it the best you can. Here you have a list of style catalogs that you can use as aspiration. Inspiration, okay? You also have, for example, Comic Noir, Playful 3D, Pixel Blog, so on, so on. There's a bunch of different styles that you can kind of use in your prompt, okay? And they're very beautiful and very polished. You will also have access to your creations in this little tab in here. As you can see, there's nothing here yet. So guys, what are you going to do? First of all, just select the video in here. Okay, this is the video tab and this is the image tab. You can generate five images in the free plan, as you can see in here. And you can select like the aspect ratio and also like the style. But I'm going to go to video. Okay, I want to create a video. Because we're creating um, you know, a coffee promo for our coffee shop, I'm gonna type something very long and then I'm gonna come back to you. So this is what I have so far, guys. As you can see, I'm specifying the mood, the subject matter, the key thoughts, the length, and even the music style, as you can see in here. The more detailed you are, the better results you're gonna get, okay? So really pay attention to this prompt, especially considering that you know creating a video is gonna take a certain amount of time for the model. So you wanna be accurate to do as very, uh, you know, editing as possible. This way you're going to be able to get the perfect video in just a few prompts. Now, as you can see, I have different, you know, durations that I can choose. In, in this case, it's just eight seconds because of the model that I'm using. You also have like a certain resolution. You can choose between 720p and 180p. I'm going to choose 180p and you can choose whether you want to include audio or not, because I want to include a soundtrack. I'm going to keep it on. Now, this is going to use different models. It's going to use like the light model, the standard BO3 model, or the pro BO3 model. I'm going to choose the BO3 model because it's actually the, be the best, but it's going to cost you more credits and it's going to take a little bit longer. But it's perfect for this kind of cinematic, you know, quality shots. Okay. So I'm just going to choose this one. And if you want to, if you have enough spare credit, you should choose this one too. If not, just go with light for something very simple or standard for something a little bit more complex. Now, as you can see, when I click on generate, it's going to take a few minutes. So just be patient and wait for the final results. Okay. And after a couple of minutes, this is how it looks basically, as you can see. Okay. It's not so bad for a first draft. Of course you can modify it and you can do something better, but of course, like I told you before, the better the prom and the better the model that you use, the better the result is going to be. This clip doesn't have any audio because I actually had to use the light model which doesn't have audio because it requires a paid subscription to be able to generate with the pro model or with the standard model now something that i don't like is that you don't have like an editor inside of our list in so that you cannot actually edit anything you know like adding text for example or modifying the colors or things like that you kind of have to resort to an external tool such as premiere pro or after effects in order to do this okay so this i don't like too much about the video generator Something that you can do, however, is you can just generate an image instead of a video. So you can use the you know text to image um, kind of tool in here and you can generate an image, okay? And after the image finishes generating, you can animate the image. And sometimes this is gonna work even better than this, you know, than this text to video model. 
because AI images tend to be better than AI videos, okay? So we're gonna try the same prompt, but with an image, and then we're gonna try to animate it. In this case, I'm just gonna choose the Comic Noir uh, style in here, but the prompt is gonna be pretty much the same. Something that I also like about the text to image model is that you can actually enhance the prompt using AI. So you can just click in here, and it's gonna you know, modify the prompt to make it better. There we go. Okay, so this is much more complete. So I'm just gonna generate this image for free. And this is how it looked, okay? And if you wanna turn this into an image, you can just click on animate. And now you have to give it a prompt, okay? And you have to specify in the prompt what you wanna show basically in this video. So for example, now it says animate this cozy coffee scenes with a warm tone and soft highlights. So it's gonna try to follow this prompt to animate this uh, image in here and to make a video. Once again, you need credits for this, so you can just have to click on here, but you need to have like a premium plan. So yeah, that's pretty much how it works. There is not really any options to edit the, you know, the footage and things like that, to add tags, like different colors, besides the prompting itself, you know, you can modify the prompt as many times as you like to get it close to what you want to show, but there is no direct editing options. So that's kind of disappointing in my opinion. So what is the Baradic? For what this is, which is a tool to, you know, rapidly generate videos, it's not actually bad. It's good because the speed is very fast to generate these videos, more than with other tools. However, the fact that you cannot really edit them and do anything with these videos, um, and you have to resort to specific software such as Premiere Pro or After Effects, is very disappointing. And, you know, you know, if we consider the price of this, if you don't really use all of the other features, such as the, the footage, the video templates, the things like that, I recommend that you just generate the videos with other AI tool that is like cheaper and more specific because this uses the same models pretty much, like BO3 and you know Kling and models, models like those. So I don't really see an advantage of using this over any other model that is like free or cheaper maybe. Okay, but that's just my opinion. Thank you so much, guys.